Hello, future sixth graders, or I guess I could call you current sixth graders because you're probably watching this and it's after the last day of the school year. Um, I'm sure you know my name is Mr. Farber and I will be your humanities teacher starting in September, uh, hopefully in person at the building. Um, today I want to talk to you about your summer reading assignment. Um, back in the olden days, we used to have every student in the fifth grade uh, purchase a copy of this book. We would hand it out to you on the last day and you would read it, answer some questions, and bring them in on the first day of school. Um, we're doing things a little bit differently this year since we are not in person to give the books out. Um, you'll be reading the book online, and you'll be doing it using a website called Actively Learn that you'll be using a lot in my class. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you will click on the link in Google Classroom, and it will take you somewhere like here. Um, you click Student Sign Up. Welcome students, sign up with Google. In case you don't know this, your hha47.org account is a Google account. So you'll just type in your email address and then it'll go ahead and log you in. I'm not gonna do it now because it won't work because mine is a teacher account, but you'll just go ahead and sign in using your hha47.org account. And then once you do that, you will be taken to a screen that looks like this where we'll have your class at the top and it will have the assignment, which is the novel One Crazy Summer by Rita Williams Garcia. It's a really fantastic novel. It takes place in the summer of 1968 uh, in Oakland, California. Um, it was a pretty crazy summer for all of America. Um, Martin Luther King had been assassinated. There was rioting across the countries. The Vietnam War was still going on. Uh, people were pretty unhappy about that. Um, and it's gonna focus on these three sisters and the crazy summer that they had during all of that backdrop. Um, to read a book, um, this website actively learn, you're just gonna click on the assignment and it's just like flipping through a regular book. Here's the dedication, here's the table of contents, and here's the first chapter which is titled Cassius Clay Clouds. Um, first of all, as you're reading, um, you'll see that I have put some notes. So if you click on where it says Cassius Clay, you'll see my note here about how Cassius Clay is better known as Muhammad Ali and is considered one of the most famous boxers of all time. Um, you can click on the image and make it larger. Uh, there's a couple other really good features. So you can take any notes that you want. So if you want to highlight and say, highlight and take note, you can say, I think this is important. And you'll save all your notes. And just so you know, I can see all of your notes and it really helps me get a, a handle on how much you're understanding the book. Um, some other features, uh, if English is not your first language, there's a feature where you can translate text. So you could translate it into Spanish or into French or German. Uh, so that should be helpful with some students. Um, and then you can also define words. So I'm sure you know what the word frighten means, but if there's any word in the book you don't know, you can click on it, uh, bring this up, click define, and it'll give you the definition. So just some fantastic features. Um, every two or three chapters, there's going to be some questions at the end. So when you get to the end of this chapter, um, you'll see there's question one. Once you answer it, there'll be question two. Um, please make sure all of your answers are complete sentences, um, and it will not allow you to go on to the next question until you answer this one. Um, a couple other things that might come up about this assignment. First of all, the due date is the first day of school, which is September 3rd. So please make sure by midnight on September 2nd, you have completed the assignment. Secondly, you have the entire summer it's an entire book though, so please do it a little bit at a time. Um, do not wait until the last possible minute because you're not going to be able to read an entire book in the last few hours of your summer break. What's even worse than that is when students show up on the first day of school and say, I didn't do my summer assignment, can I still do it? Because first of all, the answer is gonna be no, but even if the answer was yes, how would you be able to read an entire book on top of all the other schoolwork you're doing? Um, and then please feel free to email me if you have any questions uh, as you go through it. Um, a couple things about this website. First of all, it, it allows me to see all your answers. I'll try to grade them as regularly as I can over the summer so you can know how you're doing. Um, and then it also lets me know how much time you're spending reading. So just for the record, not that anyone would ever think about doing this, but if you were considering just kind of skimming through it and trying to do a very bad job with the work, I will see this person just read this entire chapter in two minutes and be able to contact your parents and let them know you're not actually doing your summer work. So please try your hardest so you start off uh, the next school year and start off as a middle schooler with a really good grade in the grade book. Okay, so again, feel free to email me if you have any questions, and I look forward to meeting you all in person in the fall.